the last thing anyone there sees is a flash, a fireball, and then... Scientists have catalogued over 20,000 asteroids that are regarded as potentially hazardous. 150 near Earth asteroids are discovered every single month, so that number is only going to increase with time. There are also plenty of asteroids that take NASA by surprise and seemingly come out of nowhere. By the time they get close enough, it's already too late. We've all heard about what happened to the dinosaurs when a huge asteroid hit our planet 65 million years ago and wiped them out. But nowadays, an asteroid impact would cause a lot more destruction. Here are the top 10 scary things that will happen. When an asteroid hits Earth. What is gravy? You're watching Inform Overload. Welcome back to another IO Top 10. On this channel, we overload you with information, and I'm Charlotte Dobre. You should subscribe and follow the Inform Overload team on social media. Grab your popcorn, grab a cuddle buddy. It's about to get apocalyptic up in here. Yay. In at number 10, mass hysteria. You just heard the news. On the radio, on television, on Twitter or Reddit. A huge asteroid that took NASA by surprise is heading straight for the planet. And there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. World governments will be told by NASA scientists where the impact zone is likely to take place, how big the asteroid is, its trajectory, how fast it's traveling. But even a small asteroid would devastate a large area and if that area happened to be yours, well, you'd, uh, you'd have to figure out a game plan for survival. The only way to escape its effects would be to find an underground bunker. But there aren't enough underground bunkers in the world for everyone. There probably are underground bunkers set up for the rich, famous, and powerful who would be told to pack their bags, only the basic necessities, and get to that bunker. The rest of us would be left to fend for ourselves. Mass hysteria would inevitably ensue as people scramble to find an escape from the impending doom. Some of us might grab a group of our closest friends and head to a picturesque location and live out the remaining few hours of our lives as contently as possible. Some people might choose to end their own lives rather than experience the world ending asteroid about to hit our planet. And at 9, a massive explosion. I think that goes without saying. Even asteroids that aren't that big, let's say the size of a house, would cause a big explosion. If an asteroid the size of a house crashed into our planet at 30,000 miles per hour, it will release the amount of energy equivalent to the bomb that fell on Hiroshima, which was 20 kilotons. Upon arrival, the asteroid will be many times brighter than the sun in the sky, so bright, it will scorch your eyeballs if you look directly at it. Depending on where this small asteroid hit, the subsequent explosion would completely flatten concrete buildings into pancakes within half a mile radius of ground zero. It would turn wood structures into kindle within a mile and a half radius from ground zero. Essentially, an asteroid would wipe any city off the map, or even an entire country depending on how big that country was. Thousands of miles around the impact zone would experience immense destruction. In at 8, heat. When an asteroid hits, it will release a lot of energy, that we know for sure. Energy creates heat. This will cause temperatures to spike even hundreds of miles away from the impact site. The heat will be enough to ignite wildfires because of a process called frictional heating. It'll suck moisture out of any vegetation or life. It'll likely be hot enough to even burn your skin. The heat will also burn away much of the oxygen in the atmosphere. In at 7, a firestorm. Scientists know that when the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs struck, it created wildfires in land. Most scientists also believe that the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs created a firestorm that turned the skies a blistering hot shaved. Most Scientists also believe that the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs created a firestorm that turned the skies a blistering hot shade of red. According to models, the impact would have sent vaporized particles of rock into the atmosphere, where they then would have condensed into small pieces the size of grains of sand. When those pieces fell back to the Earth, the atmosphere could have reached temperatures of 2700 degrees Fahrenheit, making the sky red for several hours. Going outward from the impact zone, the firestorm would shoot outwards, vaporizing all life in its path. Earthquakes. An asteroid impact triggers a huge release of energy, and that will shake our planet to its core. Drill cores collected from the Sheik's Club crater show that the past massive asteroid collision punched a hole in our planet 20 miles deep. That blew up fault lines into the Earth's mantle, creating 12th magnitude earthquakes. The most powerful earthquake currently on record was a 9.4 magnitude earthquake that struck Chile in 1960. A 12th magnitude earthquake isn't even computable, but it's definitely possible. The whole planet would feel these seismic waves, which would push magma out of the Earth's mantle brings me to my next point. In at 5, volcanoes erupting. Earthquakes will also trigger volcano eruptions that will spew debris and lava. 
Earth will pretty much become a hot and fiery hell. Some researchers believe that the asteroid that hit our planet triggered volcanic eruptions along tens of thousands of miles of Earth's mid ocean ridges. These are formed by plate tectonics. Those undersea mountains wrap around our planet like the seams on a baseball, and when an asteroid strikes, they could all explode at once, pumping gases into the ocean, killing off sea life. In at four, tsunamis. Ocean makes up a large portion of our planet, 71% of it to be exact. So, from that perspective, it's a lot more likely that an asteroid would hit the ocean than land. When an asteroid hits water, it would create a massive tsunami hundreds of feet high that will wall up the coastlines nearby. Even if an asteroid didn't directly strike the ocean, the earthquakes that it would create would inevitably trigger huge tidal waves. The good news is, if an asteroid hits the ocean, the water would absorb a lot of the force, which actually will lessen the impact of the asteroid in comparison to when it would hit land. It would still suck though. A lot. Especially if you lived on the coast, which pretty much accounts for the majority of life. It's estimated that 80% of people live within 60 miles of the coast. In at three, debris. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> when a massive rock hits the planet, it displaces millions of tons of debris and shoots it into the atmosphere, killing plants and animals. Some of the debris would even shoot past the atmosphere and go into orbit around the Earth, and then it would rain back down on the planet, every part of the planet. Even the parts where the asteroid didn't affect. The debris would also heat up the atmosphere until it's so unbearably hot on our planet it will feel like an oven. Pretty much anything that isn't underground on the surface of the Earth will be cooked. The type of debris being shot into the atmosphere would depend on where the asteroid hit. When the asteroid struck that killed the dinosaurs, the rocks it struck were rich in sulfur. The sulfur was ejected and vaporized, and it mixed in with water vapor, and that created a sulfate aerosol haze. If a creature didn't die from the immediate impact of an asteroid, it would die from the debris. In at two, the sky goes dark. One of the most devastating parts of an asteroid hitting the planet isn't even the impact. It's the subsequent dimming of the sun, and that accounts for 75% of the loss of life. This would only happen, of course, if the asteroid hit land. If it hit the ocean, the mass extinction 66 million years ago might have happened a lot differently, if at all. When the sun is blocked out, that will prevent the heat from the sun from reaching the surface of the planet. And the years that followed, the impact would be in the midst of a nuclear winter. No sun, toxic air, no life. And in at number one, mass extinction. All of my previous points lead up to this final point. I think the possibility of mass extinction is one of the reasons why asteroids are such hot topics of discussion. And we know that mass extinction will happen because it's happened before. When a six mile wide asteroid hit our planet 65 million years ago in modern day Mexico, it triggered the Cretaceous Paleogene mass extinction. The millions of years legacy of the dinosaurs ended in a flash. It was pretty much the worst day that the Earth has ever seen. Birds were the only creatures related to dinosaurs that managed to live on until modern day. Mammals, lizards, and snakes that remained had a pretty tough time surviving. Plants would have been destroyed because of the asteroid, and when plants are destroyed, the animals that eat those plants have barely anything to eat, so they will die off too. Then the carnivorous animals would die off because they don't have anything to eat. Yeah, the only living things that would survive the impact of an asteroid were the ones that managed to burrow underground. It's believed by scientists that 75% of life on Earth died off when the asteroid hit 65 million years ago. So that still leaves another 25%. But for the life that remained, things would be pretty tough. Food would be scarce, shelter would be hard to find. The Earth would be a desolate place for many years to come, but life will always find a way. Well, now that I've given you your daily dose of anxiety, you should probably know that an asteroid hitting our planet is an extremely rare occurrence. It only happens once every half a million years or so. Small asteroids hit our planet all the time, but they burn up in the atmosphere. Usually. One thing that we have that the dinosaurs definitely didn't have is modern technology. We will know about a cataclysmic asteroid years before it will even get close enough to cause damage. By that time, we will also have developed technologies to protect our planet by changing the trajectory of the asteroid. What would you do if you found out an asteroid was headed straight for Earth? Who would you want to see? What would you want to say to those people? Also, why wait until an asteroid is about to kill you? Treat every day like the next day is a day that an asteroid will hit Earth. For now, I'm going to wrap up this video with some common features from our video 900 asteroids due to hit Earth. <laughs> Juan plays piano said, these things don't really happen in Africa, so I'm not worried. Uh Africa doesn't have a special asteroid shield. In fact, there are tons of impact craters in Africa from asteroids that have hit in the past. The Swang Crater, the Morrowang Crater. Shall I go on? Mike P said, it's like the lottery, but with asteroids. Definitely not a lottery that you want to win. Reeve Sarah said, this goddamn channel giving me so much anxiety. Ay sorry. Breathe with me. And out. With that being said, this video is over. You should click this playlist to keep watching IO, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm gonna see you in a future IO video.